What's up traders? It is Chris Market Bull here and we are into another video and today we're going to go through MetaTrader. MetaTrader 5 specifically. If you're still trading on MetaTrader 4, please get with it. I'm going to be very honest with you. Outdated. We're going to do only MT5. Not forget about MT4, get to MT5. So we're going to jump straight into it. I'm going to give you a little bit of a rundown how to set up your charts, how to use some of the functionalities because weirdly enough, this video has been requested quite a number of times and let's jump straight into MetaTrader. All right guys, so if you do not know already, if you go to file, if you go to open an account, this is where you will be able to put in your broker details. So when you click in your broker details, the service will come up here and that is where you will select to log in. And once you go to the next space, uh, next step, connect with an existing trade account. This login here is for your MT5 number. This is the password that the broker will provide you with. We actually trade with Vault Market, so please check the link in the description of this video. And the server here as well will be supplied by your broker. Then once you're done with that and you set up, you're gonna get your standard layout, what you see here in front of you. This is pretty standard. I've not touched this. I'm actually logging in for the first time. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump to the left here and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go show all. This is gonna basically show me all the instruments on the left. And as you can see here on the vertical tab, you've got your bid and your ask and your daily change. You can add additional columns here. So if I right click again on that daily change section, anywhere actually here, and I go to my, just wanna make sure your columns, right here at the bottom, you can add, for instance, the spread. You can add anything you want. There you can see there's the spread and you can really build it out the way you want. All right, that's the first one. Then getting into the gist of it. And I think this is the important part for me when it comes to MT5 is how do I set up my chart? So the first thing I always do is I just delete all of these redundant charts and I actually clean it out. So there's a blank canvas. And then what I'll do is I'll start with the pairs I actually trade. So let's start off with gold. That is just a staple in the trading diet. And I'm gonna start off with this one. So first one, you can see the grid. So if I click on the chart, control G, that is the shortcut, I remove the grid. Secondly, I wanna remove this little uh, tick volume tab here at the bottom. And how do I change that? I right click on the chart and I go to properties, all right? For me personally, I like either the black on white or color on white. And if I go to show and I show um, tick volumes, I basically click that to take that away. And there I've got a beautiful chart right in front of me. If you want to go to the most recent price data, you're going to click right here. It's going to take you right to the end. All right, so we've got that on there. And then secondly, what I love to do as well is when I go into properties, I want to see what the ask line is as well. That's going to show me what the spread is of the pair I'm trading. So there you can see both lines on there. All right. Then secondly, when I go back to properties, this is something guys don't know about is scale fix. And what is scale fix? Scale fix is something you can do here on the right hand side. See that if I left click on the price tab, I can actually drag my chart to change the aspect ratio of it, okay? Then after that, I'm pretty much set. So you don't have to redo this. What you're gonna do is you're gonna right click and you're gonna save this as a template. So save the template, call it whatever you want. Call it your day trading template, for instance. You've added all your indicators and you can save it as a template. So whenever you drag and drop another pair or another currency, let's use GBPUSD in this case, I'm gonna drag and drop it, left click, drag, drop, and it's gonna drop in here. But let's say I wanna add another chart to the array. I'm gonna just go to gold. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go chart window. So here at the bottom, you're gonna see the tabs there. So now for instance, only GBP USD was set on our day trading chart. I go over to gold, right click, 
and here by templates you will actually see your day trading template and if i click there it automatically loads it let's say for instance i want to add an indicator go to insert indicators and i want to uh, add let's say for instance the macd all right so add the mac macd to it and this i want to have this right throughout all of my um, charts right click again templates very simply go to save template i'm basically going to resave it under the day trading template and whenever i go now onto my other charts i need to reload the day trading template okay very very simple guys i've given you the gist of it and um, play around with it there's a lot of tutorial videos i thought i'll just give you guys the basics the starter pack to get you going if there's any questions please drop your questions in the comment section below if you've made it this far in the video you obviously still struggling with mt5 join our streams monday to friday london session as well as new york session check the live section hit that bell icon and you will be notified first when a new video drops and when we go live with our trading sessions do appreciate the support and the love. We will see you guys on the next one. Peace and love, baby.